Dimitra Kahrimanidi is a Toronto-based musician who transports listeners to Greece with her music. And Dimitra joins me to chat all about it. Hi, Dimitra. Hello, Tina. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for um, having me. <laughs> and um, it's a pleasure meeting you and discuss with you. Me too. So I was actually introduced to your music through the September Sounds concert on the Danforth. Um, you all transported us back to Greece for a bit. It was so much fun. What was it like? How did it feel to get back on stage? Because I know that COVID um, put that on hold for a little while. Yes, um, COVID, I think, um, put it everything on hold, um, all of our lives. and our music too. Um, always um, being on stage is a wonderful feeling because sometimes it's like um, we cannot breathe if we don't perform. So um, due to COVID, we couldn't perform. So it was a closure for us. Um, and being on stage again, uh, it's something unique, a unique uh, feeling. So we are all very happy, um, me and my colleagues, and I think every musician um, or um, actress, actresses, all of the people that uh, perform. And um, we are double um, uh, happy because um, we missed that uh, feeling and that uh, relationship with the audience. Right, yeah. And we were super happy to have all of you back. Um, like I said, it was such a fun night. So tell me about your earliest memory of just being surrounded by music. Uh, so I started um, when I was seven or eight years old with uh, piano lessons. I went to um, music uh, school in Greece and I knew what I want to do and I, what I want to study uh, from very early age. So um, then I gave my exams to pass um, uh, the, Greek, um, the Greek exams to go uh, to the university. So. Um, I finished um, ethnomusicology and cultural anthropology in Greece in University of Athens. And now I continue my studies here at UFT. Um, and I'm learning how to sing and then how to teach uh, classical uh, singing. Oh, that's great. So you want to get into teaching as well? Yes, yes. I want to know how to perform um, right and how to, uh, how to teach uh, singing to others. Yeah. So I love that. So uh, that's what I want to do in the future. Yeah. So music was always in the cards for you then? Always, always. <laughs> yes. Well, I know that your first song is the Mati uh, It was exactly. released in 2018. Tell me about the creative process behind that song. So um, usually we have feelings, uh, good or bad, and this is the start for creating uh, lyrics and music. Um, and when your, your emotion and your feelings are very strong, uh, we have um, a song for the musicians, right? Um, and um, that's how Tamatiasu uh, translations your eyes. Um, um, I created this song, and it, it was uh, from um, it was born from very nice and uh, um, very nice feelings and feelings of love. With it being your first song, how did it feel at the time to put it out there to the world? Um, so it's like it is my first child so <laughs> i wanted to be uh not perfect because um i don't know what is perfect in this world i, I don't know <laughs> but i wanted to uh be 
a song of how I was, I felt. And um, this is my first child and hopefully I'll um, create others too. So Dimitra, I know that you mostly sing Greek music, but I came across your recent cover of Coldplay's Yellow recently. Tell me about some of your influences. Uh, so my influences in music are mainly uh, folk or traditional Greek uh, influences um, because um, from a very young age, uh, we listen to the radio um from uh, folk uh greek music to laika or um more pop greek music or um pop music from uh, america or world worldwide music um but i started as a musician i started singing and playing uh greek folk music um so now about the um, the Coldplay uh, song. Um, Coldplay is my favorite uh, band. So uh, we thought with my uh, friends and colleagues to create this cover because uh, the song Yellow is one of my favorite song. Um, so um, it's a new start doing that covers and hopefully um, um, I hope everyone liked it. I liked it. I thought it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So is it different for you than switching up genres because you've been exposed to so many genres. Um, so mm -hmm. what is it like for you to to kind of have those influences and be able to sing different things as well? Um, it's it's something new. So everything new in our lives, um, somehow it's, we have a strange feeling about that. So um, everything I I'm doing, I, I want it to be not perfect, but good. So I'm double um, thinking every time what I I'll show and what, what I'll perform. So I think that I'll continue with the English uh, covers, but every time I, I my covers, I want them to be uh, something um, unique for me mm. first, and then to present them. When it comes to traditional Greek songs as well, I think it's really so important for the next generation to be able to carry that forward. Um, so what is it like for you to be able to sing the traditional Greek music? Is that dedication to bringing it, um, I guess, to the next generation, part of what makes it meaningful for you? So uh, as a Greek musician uh, here in Toronto, I think it's an asset to uh, know um, many um, many songs and many things about our culture, um, except from speaking Greek. Um, I think it's very important uh, for the young generations to learn to speak or to write or to uh, understand the Greek uh, language and to listen to Greek music or learn if they want because uh through music uh with and this is the same with every genre um we can learn many things about our culture because uh, uh the folk music is the music of people so these people create th this music um from their pain from their uh, feelings of love sometimes hate uh but mostly from um uh, their traveling around the world or exchange uh um, when for example when greeks went from smyrna to greece and uh turks went from greece back 
to their homeland. Um, and these uh, songs are Mikrasiatica. They are talking about the pain and that, that these Greeks um, left their homes, for example. So it's very important because we can learn history. We can learn um, many things about our culture. And it is very nice uh, for me to learn um, about other cultures. So I think that is something very important for other cultures to, to yeah. learn more about our culture and us to learn about other cultures. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I think with the traditional songs too, it really kind of makes you want to slow down and listen to the lyrics too. Like it kind yeah. of demands that you like almost really sometimes, listen to the lyrics. Sometimes, sometimes you want to listen to that, to yeah. these lyrics, even you don't understand because you can feel yeah. that, that vibes even today. Right. And I, I don't know, I, it's a treasure for me. It is. And yeah. I'm very glad that my teachers um, told me about all that stuff and learned from them. Do you have a dream collaboration? Someone who you really want to sing with? Um, not exactly, no. but um, do you mean a Greek performer or worldwide? It general? can be anyone. Yeah, anyone. So um, I'd love to collaborate with my favorite band called Play, of course, <laughs> or uh, with the Greek um, singer and musician uh, George Dalaras. Nice. It's a dream. Yeah. So, yeah. And your singing has taken you to some pretty amazing places, too. I know that you've also been featured on exactly. television. Um, yeah. So when you started this in this journey in music, did you ever imagine that, you know, it would lead you to these places? No, not ever. No, but um, I'm doing what I love and I'm and I'm very glad for that because um, I, I don't know how to express it, but every time every single moment of my day it's about music yeah and this is a unique feeling yeah. to do and uh, study and teach what you love it's very important for me yeah i know what you mean it's a fulfilling feeling yeah. when you get to do what you what you want to do okay. um so dimitra what's next for you do you have new music coming out any upcoming performances we should know about um, so once in a month, um, I'm, I sing or play also, um, at Mega's restaurant, uh, the Dumford. Um, we discuss with Greek community of some, about some, um, future events, but, um, I'll keep you posted yeah. <laughs> from my Eastern Girl or Facebook account. Um, and I'm creating, create um, new music. So, and I have um, uh, to release a new um, cover. So that's all for now. Yeah, nice. Well, there's a lot to keep up with, Dimitra. Thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with me. Thank you very much for having me. And to keep up with Dimitra's music, be sure to follow her on social.